This video is to help troubleshoot how to unclog your tube. The tube can become clogged due to buildup of formula or medication. You will know that it is clogged if you go to flush your tube with water and it does not go through, or if you are using a pump and it alarms with the error message, flow air. The first thing you may want to try is making sure if you have a clamp that it is open. If the clamp is open and no water will go through with the syringe, you will want to gather several supplies including warm water, 60 ml syringe, washcloth or old towel, and soda or other carbonated beverage. Also, you can try milking the tube between your finger to physically break up anything that may be clogging the tube or running the clamp along the length of the tube. Lay washcloth or old towel across lap. Then pull 30 or so mils of warm water into the syringe. Insert end of syringe into tube. Since we are going to be building up some pressure, it can help to hold the syringe securely in the end of the tube by laying the syringe across your palm and holding the connection with your forefinger and thumb and wrapping the rest of your fingers around the syringe. Then push as much warm water into the tube as it will hold. You may need to let the warm water sit in the tube for 5 to 10 minutes to warm and soften whatever may be clogging the tube. After this time has passed, hold the syringe in the tube in the manner described and with quick short bursts of pressure try to push the clog through the tube. You may need to alternate between infusing more warm water and using the push-pull method to try to clear the tube. If this is not effective, the next thing to try is using some soda to try to dissolve the clog. Pull 30 mils of room temperature soda into the syringe and push as much of that possible into the tube. The soda will need to be in contact with the clog for 15 to 30 minutes to work on dissolving the clog. Once this time has elapsed, try the push-pull method again to clear the tube. As a last resort, you can also try a mixture of meat tenderizer, baking soda, and warm water. You'll need one tablespoon meat tenderizer and a half teaspoon of baking soda mixed with 30 mils of warm water. Make sure your meat tenderizer does not have any added seasonings. This mixture should then be pulled up into the syringe and pushed into the feeding tube. The mixture will need to stay in the tube for 30 to 60 minutes to soften a formula clog. After this time has passed, again try the push-pull method to clear the tube. If none of these methods are effective in clearing your tube, then you will have to go into the emergency room to see if the tube can be cleared there or replaced if it cannot be unclogged.